um, getting to know each other, stay optimistic about your love life and new love. Wow. So this can lead to a new person. Maybe some of you are getting ready energetically and this is shifting your energy. Um, worth waiting for in separation. Wow. Um, maybe this for some of you, you will come together with this person, this ne uh, um, past person, and it's going to be a new form of love. So I feel like that's why it's worth waiting you for some. So divine timing, like I said, this is always divine timing when there's spiritual reads. Usually that card will come up, temperance will come up, um, and judgment will come up. So this is going to really need you to be optimistic. And then when you guys reconnect, I feel like this getting to know each other, it's like you're going to be so much more elevated, maybe you more Libra than your person, but I think the energy and frequency you're going to embody with this person whether new or your past person is creating a new energy is what i'm saying because you're in a new energy so it's going to allow for a deeper bond and it's really going to shift things for you so keep the vibration being positive right stay optimistic meaning stay high vibe or work on that and i really do feel a lot of you have been working on that so um this is good uh, because it basically ultimately is going to get you whatever you're manifesting and whatever you're manifesting only you know that Libra is what you're going to you know what you're working towards my mom is energy for Libra please for it. thank you <sighs> lots of waiting 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 so emotional loss and I feel this is just a missing or just the transition right so we have the waiting game we know we're waiting discontent and boredom and passion ignited i feel this usually comes with the spiritual awakening where it's just a period of not knowing and the passion ignited ace of wands is because our soul is ignited differently and so now we're we're redefining that. And that's why I feel strongly, Libra, that this is going to be a new energetic frequency that you're embodying, mental conflict and material harvest. You are going to be different. Nine of Pentacles. I mean, that's when you're really going to feel like yourself. Look at what we have here. Oh, I knew it. Nine of Cups and the Magician. That's what I say. I really feel strong manage manifestation energy. Nines, um... Are, these are the minor connas of hermit. Hermit is wisdom. So this is when we spend time alone. And while you've been really diving deep into your soul, because the hermit really dives deep and just really listens and allows the soul to speak, but it will cause some mental conflict, meaning confusion in terms of what the next steps are. And that's just what spiritual awakenings do or a spiritual journey that you begin to embark in, right? So you're going to want this emotional loss here. But it's obviously with the magician bringing, it's going to bring in whatever you're calling. So do keep in mind of that Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, and Two of Wands. So this is the waiting period. So obviously when we're in this journey, we're in crossroads. It's almost like we want to connect, but we can't connect. And I think usually spirit keeps that divine timing. This is where the angels or the universe, you know, operates in this, in this space with you where it, it gives you what you need, not so much of what you want. And in this time, yeah, the star, because you're aligning to your star, it's your North node. And this is also healing. So there's obviously a period of healing. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. Give me more on this waiting game. And so is your person. So this, like I said, this divine timing is a mirroring six of swords. You know, this is a lot of um, harmonization, mental, like calming, finding peace, right? Dealing with the five of pentacles, you know. Again, more healing. Give me more on this discontent and boredom. Why the four of cups? I knew it. I love it, but why? Empress energy, and you've got the world. Everything's take, everything's changing, and this is what I'm saying. You're elevating. When you show up as the empress, it don't matter what gender you are. You're fertilizing. You're you're creating. You're growing. You're it's you're embodying more healthy feminine energy in the sense of you've been taking care of yourself. 
but this is the rise that we're talking about if you keep this frequency right the optimism to keep maintaining don't get into this four of cups here where we're missing the point right because we can get into our own heads right with the eight of swords and the nine of wands and kind of get stuck this can create more stagnation which is why we have the mental conflict and the mental conflict in this deck is the two of swords but we are igniting our soul and that beginning takes time getting around this ace of wands you've got to be committed to the process and the journey of the process of love and the soul ignite igniting page of wands more about the soul two of cups right what we're calling in six of cups a true soulmate so your ace of wands with the ace of cups again magician all the aces are the minor arcanas to the magician your manifestation your soul is manifesting your heart space which is your heart and that's usually the trigger of an awakening your heart space needs to heal um, the soul awakens the heart space heals and then it creates this energetic surge to transition and transformation is this easy to maintain no never never but you're doing it right will it cause again this two of swords this mental conflict of course because sometimes we don't know where we're going but that's not for you to know because it's why we have divine timing right spirit is working with you it's more about growing your faith and trusting in around this mental conflict wheel of fortune wants to show up again but that was too many cards king of wands more action card here around this mental conflict some of you can be dealing with a fire sign this could be the mirror too uh, and more wands, seven of wands. So this is the guarded energy. Three of swords, my goodness, nine of swords, five of swords. You guys probably had some very um, passionate conversations. You know, the conflict, this is where the, the this, it's like the memory of the conflict maybe your person i feel like your person this is your person some of you can be dealing with leo aries sag libra but i feel like this person remembers the last conversation and like it's it's almost like in constant repeat and it does create some of this friction between you and energetically um but in order to clear this up again there has to be a conversation um, and this to me feels like the energy is not ready. It's, it's very, right. It's very, as you guys can see, seven of wands, very guarded. It's very like, we're not really in this place to speak, um, and not very clear yet. So nines again, are hermit energy, which is still time for alone time and really resolve ourselves. Yeah. Oh my God. As I say that really resolve ourselves, four of swords. So there's a lot of resting that's necessary yeah, five of cups. Um, you know, we have to really think about our emotions, take a step back. And I really feel spirit is having that. So give me more nine of pentacles. It's, it's like that's the reason. It's like that. Look at this. I'm telling you, soulmate, twin flame. There is a spiritual connection here. High priestess, the lovers, the tower. I mean, seriously. This took someone down. This is what Someone did not expect this connection to put you on board on this spiritual journey um or spiritual awakening again soulmate twin flame for sure for some of you but this is igniting a new love some of you are already in this space where you're willing to open up to an, a soulmate if you're in this twin flame or open your heart or some of you, it's just a new form of love to yourself, right? This journey is about self-love too. So there's a lot about learning about our emotions and our kind of reconnecting with ourselves because this is clarifying nine of pentacles. And it's what's happening alone. And the high priest is a single. The high priest spends a lot of time alone. But this also indicates the marrying the telepathic with your soulmate, your lover as a soulmate which is going to impact and bring this change. You have 10 of swords. So a cycle will end. And then here we have an ace of wands, which we have here, right? Once the healing takes place, we the mental conflict is dropped because this feels like this is going to end. 
for this Ace of Wands, which we said the energy surge here between your heart and your soul, creating this manifestation. More wands. So definitely this to me confirms that you both are manifesting each other. This will reconnect um, at some point. And, and if not, if it's not this person, it's definitely one's new beginnings, a new form of love because you're vibrating at this Empress energy. You've now practiced it enough for you to vibrate in a different frequency that brings you... Um, someone more in alignment with that frequency all right so let's see what the blockages are yeah lessons i mean there's a hidden lesson in all of this always is when it's especially twin flames like that's why i feel it's a spiritual read libra and then yeah cleansing clearing out old energies this is definitely allowing both of you to clear yourselves out and things will be different um and a lot of you, it will be a twin flame, right? Um, or a new person, even. I really feel a new person for a lot of you. All right, what is the untold message of the heart? What is this untold message of this energy? Defensive, I'm not ready to talk. I will only push you away. Definitely, you guys are not ready to talk. Not really stubborn. I mean, talk about this energy here. And then um, uh, rendezvous, I want to see you. So... They want to see you eventually. You guys will reconnect. So, right, we're talking about the stubborn. This is a lot of stubborn energy, mental conflict. You guys, that's what I'm saying. You guys are not in the space yet to engage because it's almost like it really feels like the you, they're still replaying as long as they're they're defensive, right? So, as long as they're replaying what took place, they're, they're so basically they're re triggering themselves and getting upset every time. And it's <laughs> I know it's crazy, but that's, that's what it feels like, right? So that's why they'll push you away because it's like they, they keep getting upset about the same thing. Um, but obviously, in order to get this deep understanding, this conversation needs to take place, which is why this is not done for a lot of you. Um, you know, who's in this energy as well. So what is the guidance for Libra? What's the guidance for Libra? Yeah, truth. The time has come to be honest and to face the truth within yourself. What is it that you really want? Speak your truth and be your own authentic self. Step into your light. So there's a lot about stepping into yourself, right? Truth. And I feel that's what a lot of revelations, right, are happening in this experience more than you know. Give me one more guidance for our leaders. The journey, oh my God, I'm telling you, this is, it's just a journey, um, Libra. This, those in this spiritual journey is the journey, you know? And the journey towards your higher self may not be the easiest one because it will not be. But in your losses and devastations, you will find yourself in the rubble and you will, you will. And I feel this time out right now is for the sole purpose of helping you navigate that's why divine timing is here help you navigate through this journey that you're embarking and learning so much about you so um libra i'm gonna leave it there i love you please like share subscribe